Hey, cookies, welcome to today's episode. That's a breakdown for you on an experienced farming guide. That is correct. Just like our friend, I'm going to teach you how to go from zero to hero just like this very fast. That's 600,000 experience. And as you can see behind me already, we got lots and lots and lots of jellies here. Millions and millions and millions of jellies. And I'm gonna give you the guide on how you can be exactly like this and get J-Hope and all your other cookies from zero to hero stage like we talk about. So I'm gonna give you five key ways to do that. Like I said, plus one there as well. And appreciate you tuning in today. And I'm gonna break these things down for you here in today's experience guide. Now, uh, with that, timestamps are down below for you. Additionally, great ways to stay connected here. And if you got questions or comments throughout today's episode, please do let me know. I love to hear from you always. And I know many of you have seen my Zero to Heroes um, on the shorts. We've broken down how many jellies it takes. Obviously, we just showed that here as well, which is roughly 600,000 jellies to go from zero to 70, which is a ton. So how do we get this many? How do we get there? Well, we gotta be very, very diligent, and that's what today is gonna happen and break down for you. So we'll start with the first and foremost thing. Yes, it is going to be your cottages. That is correct. So certainly the key piece here making sure you're refilling, getting your cookie mansions up, mine still are not maxed. And you can get exactly where I am and you can certainly max yours out as well. We got lots of them here to go. We will continue to move them up here. We got a level 15 one, that's a max one. Um, and that's a key piece. Now the other thing about the cookie mansions that you absolutely positively certainly must do is cookie house faster production. So make sure you're going to the research, you're prioritizing these things um, to maximize the output of your cottages that's gonna dump a ton and ton and ton of experience. So as you can see, I got my second one there, ultimately boosting it plus 15%, again with the other one as well. You can see all the speeds that you're gaining from this boost. So that is gonna be the priority number one for you um, in terms of your jelly. You want something passive like this, it's great and a perfect way to do it. The next one that's gonna help you is making sure you're using your world expirations. That is correct. So in your world expirations here, um, you got multiple ways to go ahead and do this. Obviously here at 829, one of my favorites, here you can see your jellies. You're gonna gain 150 here, uh, experience ones at 12. So the best way to do this is obviously if you go into things like master, um, you're gonna get some really, really nice experience here. Oh, I lied. You're not gonna get nice experience. So good thing we proved that out here. If we go to dark, we get the same thing. If we go here, let's take a quick look. Trick a roux here, as you can see, you're not getting a lot of jellies. I wanted to do that on purpose so that you understand that the most effective way to actually go ahead and get jellies here is by staying in story mode um, and going on to the highest level thing. So here you're gonna get four at 400 um, or 14 at 400 experience. So now again, if we go back to dark and we look at this again, oh, we can't get there yet. We'll go to 13, let's use a like for like. Here you got 13 at 400. So keep that in mind. Let's switch over to story mode. There you go. Look at that, 12. So not much more, very close as you can see in terms of those things. So taking advantage of this, when we look at this and say that we're ready, 1330, 15 to battle, let's go ahead and move back over to dark. And when we do the same exact thing and battle 33. So the best way to go ahead and farm your jellies is at the lowest level here like we showed. So those are some things that you can keep in mind. I wanted to do that on purpose to make you stay in tune and what's going on there because if I gave it all away at the beginning, you wouldn't continue to watch me, would you? No, just kidding. So now, as we go into the next thing, like I said, the key to our third item is your fountain rewards. Yes, that is right. Another passive for you in terms of getting more jelly. So you wanna make sure, I always try 
um, to get to, at least for now, my eight hours at my level 15, you're gonna get a good amount of jellies. Again, passive, good way to go ahead and get those um, for you there. The next one's another active one, which is Tower of Chaos. So make sure that you're taking advantage of your Sweet Tower of Chaos stuff. As you can see here at the very bottom at five, we're getting 44. If I go and boost myself all the way to the top, we're getting level four jellies here. 400 experience at 168 just for completing and then another 102 and we have a ton of jellies there so this one you want to make sure that you're staying on top of making sure that you're knocking this out and continuing to move down now it goes very well with climbing the tower which is great let's go ahead and flip these out we can also do this one here real quick and then also this one here for us and last but not least we'll just throw this one in for oh, got that one wrong throw that one in for some fun and we'll run this one here real quick for you so that is a massive way to get a ton of jellies rewarded and you continue to climb the tower here of sweet chaos so these are things that are very important to make sure that your team is continuing to maximize um, your opportunity for experience here and an opportunity for you um, to continue to level up your cookies from zero to hero as i like to say all right so now after we've beat uh strawberry crepe here now we get to collect and be the benefactors of a ton of jelly. Yes. Now, again, if you get through all the way, make sure that you're coming back and taking advantage of these things here and continue to use up those keys so that you can continue to, to get that experience. So that is the third one here. Uh, one, two, three, fourth one here that we're covering off on, on our five key ones and the plus one. The last one that I like to do here is tropical soda, soda Isles. Isles. <laughs> yeah, tongue twister here, I guess, for me today. Um, tropical Soda Islands. A lot of people forget about this. Again, when we go and we take out a new little island, um, we're gonna get a ton of experience. When we come back, just like this, again, 64 of these things, and there's no cost to us to ram through these um, in order to complete it after it's been taken over. So I like to use my time jumpers. We'll go ahead and max, we'll time jump on the two. Very, very fast way, probably one of the fastest ways for you to gain that experience. Now we got another 100, uh, 150 plus roughly 400 experience things very powerful there um, in terms of your ability to again move the needle and get experience so now that we've covered our five key ways i want to give you that plus one like i was talking about that will also help you and allow you to take advantage of gaining more experience what is it here mithras well people forget events take advantage of your events that is correct there's lots of ways to get experience at events like this we got the bts uh, army stuff going on if you haven't seen it you can check my gotchas all that fun stuff but here's a great way for you to continue to go and get experience so that's one way all kinds of these events look at that claim we got purple pass here we just got 80 there um, will allow you just like this. Here's another one, massive, massive experience star jelly here. 8,000 experience for participating in the Braver together. So lots of different events that you can do. I think we even get some, if I look at the uh, monthly. So we do get some on the monthly, you can see that. Arena tiers, you're gonna get some of the arena tiers on the seasonal. So lots of great ways for you to maximize on the events. Whew. All right, cookies, let's get back to it here. So to bring it all back around for you, back to our buddy here, Jay Hope, who's gonna go from zero to hero, we broke down five of the key ways to maximize your jellies, 
and a plus one there with the events for you. So just to recap for today's episode, number one, cookie houses, making sure you're taking advantage of the research. Number two, world explorations. We talked about the difference there on the stamina, also in the levels and the severity in terms of hardness, um, in terms of what you're gonna get. Next, reward, another passive one from the fountain. That is correct. Then we closed out with the Tower of Chaos. So making sure that we're continuing to use the Tower of Chaos keys and continuing even post climb to use those up and take advantage of getting more experience. And last but not least, tropical soto uh soto islands um, and making sure you're using those things and to bring that all home the plus one making sure you're taking advantage of those event rewards so cookies again thank you so much for today questions comments do let me know in terms of our farming experience guide for you i love to see zero to hero let me know in the comments which cookie you're zero to hearing and any feedback as always. All right, cookies. With that said, we'll see you again soon. Until next time, Mithras out. Great ways to stay connected down below. Questions or comments, do let me know, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.